That's what I love though about these like human drama shows is that like sometimes they may just be like the simplest thing of like just a story between two people or yeah. one yeah. person. But if it's done really fucking well, it can be some of the most powerful fucking storytelling ever. I, I think yeah. it's more relatable than uh, at most things. And it's really uncomfortable to think that you could be in a situation where you have to come to terms with your death. Well, that's age. why. Well, that's why. Like you know, I, I'll say this till the end of time. But like, that's the whole reason why my favorite manga artist of all time is Inio Asano. Right? I, was, I was. I was gonna say like the, <laughs> yeah. one, the one series that the one manga series that I'm like that I'm still waiting on to be in the right headspace to read is Oyasumi Punbin. Oh, yes, yeah, right. I need to yeah, read yeah. that as well. Yeah, because I've like it. I've 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 read that I've reread that like two or three times like all yeah, the way yeah. through, and every time I'm just like. Oh no. Like that, that, that's that's the only way. It's just oh no. Yeah. yeah. Because it's just so like, and it's not just Poon Poon as well. Like Inio Everything. Asano is just so good at writing these characters that are just so believable. Yeah. yeah. And it's really disturbing when you see these characters, these very believable characters run into these very believable and horrifying situations. Yeah. And you're just like, if, if this isn't like based off like a real person's life, and that's yeah. just scary in and of itself because this that. guy can just think of stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. And present mm. it in a way that is just so terrifying. I, like, uh, it's like when people are like, man, Danganronpa is really like despairful. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, please shut the fuck up. Like it's, it's got pink blood for fuck's sake. Like, like, like real despair is like uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, Danganronpa yeah. is not Fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> it pisses me. Sorry, I know that. But, I, but, but my, you but my waifu off. died. Yeah, you probably yeah. pissed off so many Danganronpa like, fans with that when, now. when you see these characters, like they're about to die in Danganronpa, it's like who the fuck gives a shit? Yeah, because like, gonna... because I I feel like there are certain levels because like everything that every, the series that we've talked about. Um, it's just like it hits you. I don't. I don't want to say it, but like it hits different. <laughs> it, it do be hitting different. Uh, okay, <laughs> to to a reason why you should watch this. If you're like me, I'm a person who avoids these kind of shows, like the yeah. play, because. I cry at like anything. I cry at like Deku when he says anything in My Hero Academia. Remember Deku screams even like a little bit. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm in tears. I don't know why. It's like a <laughs> human reaction. I'll cry at anything. So I normally right. just watch shows that I can turn my brain off to. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't want right. to have to get into like, oh fuck's sake. Yeah. I'm really scared I'm now. Things. I really just like, want, now that you've said that, I really want you to read like an in Inuyo song. No, yeah. I will. No, I know it's going to no, ruin me. And that's why like I, I, I stay away from it. But like, please watch Boku You yeah. will not regret yeah. it. Boku no, no, it's if, if you're in the right headspace for that kind of show. Cause like, you know, you know when you have like social barriers up and you, you, yeah. you, you see something that's you know sad or something it's it's mm. like it's like yeah you, f you feel sad you cry or whatever but there are some shows that you're like you, you don't know whether you want to cry or but or you or just, or, you lie just, down. or just lie down <laughs> and just like disappear yeah yeah because yeah. yeah. there's plenty of romance shows that like have really yeah. Mm, left me kind of like very sad, but yeah. it's a different feeling. Like it's Golden feeling. Golden Week made me very sad a lot of the time. Mm. Is that what it's called, Golden Week? Right? Uh, golden, golden Time. time. Golden Time. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Golden Time. Sorry, yeah. I'm an ape. Yeah. Um, I, I I like Golden Time a lot, and it made me very sad. Made, you know, very upset a lot of the yeah. time. But like, it's a it's just like a it's not. I don't leave that feeling like oh man, there's no hope anymore. I, yeah. I I felt the same way when I uh, watched Sakura. So as well, mm, because like okay. there are some, cause like that seems like all like, oh yeah, you know, cute, you know, kids in a room, you know, just yeah, romance yeah, stuff. Yeah. But some of the backstories of some of these characters, I'm just like, fuck man. <laughs> that's the only th yeah, way I can yeah. describe it. Just like, fuck man. Yeah. Like that's just, that's just sad, dude. But, but yeah, as you said, it's not like, it's sadness and despair are just two totally different emotions, yeah. right? Cause, cause, cause it's kind of like those kinds of shows where, you know, I, I, I use the, you know, oh, it changed my life kind of, kind of, which is really <laughs> corny when you say it, yeah. but it's just one of those shows where you finish and you just sit down and you just like stare at, at a blank wall and you're like, yeah. Oh, whoa. I, yeah, it's the whoa. big sigh, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the, it's, yeah, I, yeah. I, it's I, the big I, sigh. Yeah, it's, it's that big sigh of just. You can't even like listen to the <sighs> ending song. So you're like, I can't listen to this. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I need to be in silence right now. Like I, I remember being very sad and having a similar feeling watching Bojack Horseman. And it's, it taps in the same areas. I know you're laughing because I did. <laughs> I, I, by the way, last, last, uh, last time we recorded this, I said an analogy where uh, Bo the Carano, most amazing analogy. Bo Carano, right? To sum it up to you, if you're familiar <laughs> with Bojack Horseman, Bo Carano is imagine if Bojack Horseman had 12 kids and they were all equally as fucked up as Bojack Horseman. <laughs> And then, and then they all had to get sacrificed, and you slowly got to hear the backstory of these fucked up Bojack Horseman children. It's so fucked up, and it, it's it's 
it's it's like different because in Bojack, it's his own fault, right? And yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. that and it, whatever. It's very, very sad, okay? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it yeah. hits, it hits differently. It like hits you said. Different. <laughs> and I hate it. 